a must-have FPV accessory of 2024, and I'm gonna show you why you might wanna get this one. G'day, you absolute legend. Stu here from UOV Futures, and let me ask you a question. You love FPV, and is there some way that you've always wanted to share your experiences? I know not everybody out there has a second pair of goggles, but how many times have you wanted to take your flying, what you're doing, and share it with as many people as you can? Like, as it's happening out in the park, in the field, uh, at the races, been yo, check this out. Well, today, uh, this is gonna let you do this, and I gotta say, it is probably the most portable, compact, well-designed uh, FPV screen we've got on the market. Market. What it is, it is the SkyZone M5. I'm going to put some links down below. And this, it's sort of, if you're flying around on analog, this doesn't work with digital. If you're flying around with analog and you want just a backup screen, it's going to have so many uses and just fantastic functionality. This is going to be the screen for you. And the beauty, it's coming in at under a hundred bucks as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to get out of the field, fly it around, and I am going to do some dumb stuff with this. I'm going to do some Three, third person, first person view. We're gonna do some weird things uh, with some cameras and perspectives and things like that. I can't wait to have a bit of a laugh, but let's show you, let's turn this on and go through some, some of the specs. Let's turn, is it turning on? I think it's, oh, must have been holding the button incorrectly. Get this in shot in the roof cam. Now, what I do love about this, it's so simple to use. Uh, there's like three buttons on the back, your record button, your on off button, and also your mode button uh, right here as well. If you're gonna be scrolling around, it's got uh, a little scroll function where you can, this is sort of the SkyZone go-to. They haven't changed their interface uh, in terms of buttons and things like that, and I love it. SkyZone has one of the best, quickest interfaces uh, in FPV. Of course, you can do auto search if you prefer, but just remember, friends don't let friends auto search. And let's do it, let's plug a quad in right here. So we can find out exactly what we're on. Here we go. I've already got mine set up on F8. This uh, tiny little beast, if you put it is, uh, we've got our gorgeous little screen right here. I'll put the resolution on the screen as well. It records our DVR. You've got your AV in um, and also your little uh, SD card right there. Why is my phone going off? Bear with me. It was my lovely wife. Let's uh, see, see what she wants. <laughs> hey darling, I'm just filming a video. What's up? Like at shoreline. One almost crashed into ran a red light and almost crashed into my wife. Huh. Give me a second. I'm gonna compose myself and I will be back. All right, where were we before that almost uh, family disaster? Anyway, let's get on with this bad boy right here. So the screen, um, look, I'm gonna put the stats on the screen. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit frazzled actually, so sorry about that. It's got your diversity and antennas. A big selling point, although I don't actually enjoy using it, is it's got the mix receiver in there, I think. Uh, I'll put some links to some more information about that as well. Essentially, it takes two, um, two transmissions, two images, two, two receivers and merges them into one. It's not just standard diversity, it's sort of like merging them together. Uh, so combining two signals to give you better, better visuals. I don't actually notice it that much and I find it a little bit sketchy. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't work. It actually is detrimental to my flying around. Uh, it's got a little mounting part on the back. Like I mentioned, one of my other favorite things, I'm gonna turn this off uh, right here and also unplug this. It has, if I can get this undone. Gee, this is kind of a bit tricky actually. It's been lasting a fair while while it's been plugged in. I don't wanna, if I had some fingernails, it might, it might help. Why can't I open that? Got to get the big tools out. There we go. Uh, so it has a pretty stiff uh, little section, but for your 18650, you can put that in there and have heaps of fun. But main thing, I just love the form factor of it. Like it is so light. Let's stick it on the scales before we go out and have some fun. And I'd love to know, look, if you're flying around in digital, of course, this is not gonna be for you. But for a lot of people, you want a great way to be able to share your FPV experience. And it's also gonna help you diagnose some things on the bench. I'm gonna have this thing just sitting there straight away. If I'm doing a build, I wanna check that the camera's working. What's that OSD like? I can fire this thing up in like two seconds flat and it's ready to go. It's a very, and I can throw it in my bag and leave it there when I go out to 
the field if case I ever need it as well. So the entire thing uh, is about 210 grams minus antennas. Uh, it just does come with some two little dipole antennas. I wish guys don't sent in some optional extras, uh, some little omnis or a patch antenna or something like that, but most people tend to upgrade those anyway. Even the top of line goggles still come uh, with those old antennas. But look, that's it on the bench. The part I wanna show you now, we're gonna go out of the field, we're gonna fly it around, I'll show you some more DVR. But the fun part, uh, I am going to try and fly looking at this with my mate Steve Hole. It's just a whole bunch of shenanigans that not only is it a really cool screen, well, we're gonna have some fun with it as well. So let's cut out to the field, have some fun in three, two, one. All right, this is the plan. This little drone is about to rip. Steve is gonna hold my screen for me. So rather than just record some DVR, I'll swap you. You're gonna have to hold the camera and uh, I need you to hold that like that. So I'm gonna have a flight with uh, this screen that is right here. So this is gonna be a bit tricky. We're also recording some DVR so we can compare it as well. Oh man, this does, it does feel, it feels really weird flying FPV without this thing stuck to your face. And we are on, oh man, this is tricky to do. We are on 25, uh, sorry, 50 milliwatts cruising around. This is a real surreal experience because I'm so used to having goggles strapped to my face. This almost makes it feel like a video game, if that makes sense. All right, we're cruising around. Uh, let's test the range out a little bit. I am finding it more tricky with this screen. Do I need to get closer? This is, can you put it a bit closer to my face, Steve? Okay, that's, um, it's definitely tricky to talk about. Look, as far as the actual reception goes, I don't think I'm having any issues considering it's just 50 milliwatts cruising around the park. I am completely disorientated. I have almost zero idea where I am though. Oh no, there we go, there's the gazebo. Let's go for a little bit of a blip above the trees. Uh, we're on ELRS, so I have no issues with range or anything like that. You're gonna lose your video well before that. Um, and I really like this little screen though. I gotta admit, I do prefer digital, but if you are in the market for an analog screen, uh, I really like the form factor, I like the range, I like how easy it is to use, whether you do auto search or um, whether you're gonna manually go through it. It's using the Scott, there's a little knife edge there. Whether you're using um, just the manual selection and all that sort of stuff, I, I kinda really like it. And it is surprising now that I just had a little blip there, I think I clipped the branch, but now that I've had a little bit of a rip, um, it's not it's not too difficult to fly around. So if you really were one of those people who needs glasses to fly, uh, sorry, I think I almost hit you there, <laughs> Steve. Um, yeah, if you needed glasses to fly or anything like that, a little drone like this is, uh, let's see. This is really surreal. I feel like I'm third person. Do you know what I mean? Like third person walking around. That'd be a bit of a trip. All right, I'm gonna bring it in for a landing and we'll hand it over to Steve and see what he thinks about this as a, as a product, not to fly around nuts. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it was too tricky. That's weird because also too, what was weird, like I went to go and unplug, but then I'm like, oh no, I've got to take the screen off my face. And it was, uh, <laughs> A bit tricky. Uh, good stuff. All right, and on the back, there's only three buttons. It makes it really easy. Did you stop the DVR? Yeah, mate. Oh, look at that. Even Steve knows how to work the DVR. I will get your impressions on what you think about something like this. So, this little bad boy right here, it's from Sky Zone. It's basically what you see is what you get. I'll give you this. It does come with a little battery piece at the back but um, I kind of forgot that and left that at home. Mm. So, sorry about that. That's why we are <laughs> using an external cable. It can also charge off a USB. Um, but yeah, that's sort of it, a little Well, the only thing we've done screen. is obviously put the different circular polarized yes. antennas on, try yep. and get a little bit more of a lock on it. But for something like that, I think it's pretty good. I'm always trying to share my, share my footage with the people around me. And you know, it's kind of hard when you don't have two sets of decent goggles. Yes. This thing's got the same, or well, the new, Sky Zone receiver in it. Yes. So you should get really good range and reception. Yeah, I think it's great. I haven't looked at the screen yet and I haven't flown with Oh, goggles. okay. Would you like to have a fly with it? I'll give it a crack. Okay, all right, let's, <laughs> let's do it. Then we'll see yeah, how good we you go. can fly with it. Okay. All right, so Steve's feeling a little bit nervous. So we're flying a new drone 
with a new radio, with a new screen that is not going to be like line of sight face. FPV. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a trip. Real so. life simulator. Okay, yeah, real <laughs> life sim. So I go. will hold. Shoot. Yes, I've got a hold. All right. DVR is rolling. Steve is trembling. Hit arm. Give it some throttle. Go for it. Watch the screen, not line of sight, bro. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll have another go. I'm watching. <laughs> it does feel very unnatural. All right, you can't watch the drone. Put the drone down. We're going straight from here. You got more freedom. Can I see the screen in no the sun? No pressure. Oh, that's quite good in the sun. Okay. All right, you are armed. No, I've lost it. Snow. Oh, have we? Yeah. Oh. Thank God. Thank plug God. and replug. In this. Okay, go now. Yep. You are armed. Give it. No, no. Watch the screen. Yeah, I'm making sure your props spin. Watch the screen. Give it some. Only the screen. No, that sucks. What do you mean? Like, no, the screen's good, okay. but just flying like this is its not normal. <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh my it? god, yeah, no, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. Where are we? I don't even know. You okay. were flying, what bro. Oh. Alright. Steve, I'm not going to make you do that again. Not entirely my fault either. Look, look I am going to blame you. That probably happened once you crashed it. No, no. Uh, what? You can hold this bad boy. What did you think about the screen? The screen, screen brightness, all that sort of stuff. I'm not gonna. I'm not talking about flying with it because obviously it feels no, very different. I can't different. do it. Yeah, I can't yeah, do it. Yeah. Um, screen itself was fine. I okay. come from Skyzone 04 L V2 goggles. Not quite as crisp. Obviously, it's a single screen, not right up to your face, but yeah, it's, it's doable. Any <laughs> any issues with the light or anything like that? It's a no. pretty bright day here. Today. No, no. Well, we just flew in the sun, morning sun, yep. but um, nice sunny Queensland weather. But yeah, I can still see everything. I just you just can't do oh, it. I can't do it. You don't I have the skills to pay no, the bills. No, no. And uh, it was very disorientating. Too easy. Only other thing, Stu, too, yep. I guess, might add is about if there was an HDMI in or out. Yeah. You could share a bit different from your goggles straight to it as well. It would be great if so we could rig up a like a walk snail receiver. Absolutely, yeah. And then also get that straight out. Yeah, man. So even just a HDMI in yep. would be good because then you, people can see. But... And people like me still have goggles on and yes. Not crash. Yes, yeah. 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 Too easy. Yeah. All right. Thanks, brother. Cool. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my review of the M5 and there's a couple of points I want to add. Number one, I feel like this really is a must-have accessory for people who enjoy still flying analog. Of course, uh, it's not going to do very, very many wonders if you're still flying around on digital or anything like that, but for 99 bucks, you get a great screen, a great way to share your video, do component testing, I guess problem solving, all that sort of stuff that is in a great form factor. I love the 18650. It's uh, well-priced. I think it's it's fantastic. The only part that's going to really struggle with is there's a large percentage of our hobby who are moving into digital. But if you're like me and you've got tons and tons, you still enjoy analog, you've got heaps of analog quads to fly around, this I've got to say is a must accessory for anybody who's serious into that side of the hobby. But I'd love to know what you think. Uh, I don't know if you'd be able to fly around. Have a go. If you've got one of these or you've tried flying with that sort of far away, someone else holding the screen, please let me know your experiences. Steve, he's an absolute no-hoper. Come on mate, you've got to get better at that. Uh, he had no success at all. I kind of enjoyed it. Obviously, it's not as easy as flying with a nice pair of goggles or anything like that. Subscribe for more FBV related content. And here is the last message that I want to leave you with. Uh, be kind to each other, but most of all, be kind to yourself. Why? Because you deserve it. You are awesome. I'm proud of you. I, I really am. And thank you for being here. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to make these FPV videos and share these experiences with you. So if you did watch to this, this to the end and you're still here, I just want to say thank you. I, I appreciate it and I'm glad you're here and you're awesome. All right, happy flying.